So we just got a new briefing from Ready or Not, briefing 57, so let's get into it. Welcome to the 57th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. Today we will share one of our community's highly requested topics, the upcoming customization in Ready or Not. Remember that the following is an early preview of our customization system, and everything that the players see here will look entirely different later. This will incorporate the community's involvement at various stages, rather than just during the final touches. Introduction The Void Interactive team constantly uses their brushes and canvases to expand the clothing combinations so you can distinguish yourself easily when approaching the dangerous streets of Los Suenos. Mary G. Gerard, an ambitious character artist at Void, will be joining different parts of our news to share more information about the process. Presentation, gloves. Kicking off with the practical but essential clothing piece for SWAT members. The players can choose from a long list of gloves through an available UI. We understand that aesthetics play an important role in an immersive game such as Ready or Not, so you'll have the freedom to add or switch parts for your character while combining your favourite colours. After talking to Gerard, he decided to dive a bit into his key references that make all these assets possible. So here we have a quote from Gerard. Quote, when I started getting into the whole 3D creation realm, I started making content for a competition called Make Armor Not War. The premise was simple, just create content. The better I got at it, the more I realized how simple and fun it is to be able to just replicate things you see or have used in real life. And that just stuck with me. I love anything art, painting or music. So this is a way of expressing and enjoying myself. And I'm happy we have people excited and enjoying the things we have released. Also, I love collaborating and working with others and when possible helping or teaching them, as I feel like I always learn something new from everyone I meet. Presentation, shoes. Can't chase Los Suenos suspects without something to support your agility. Originally, this section was not planned for the early preview due to the shoes still catching up with the attention and love compared to the other ones, but we believe that this will still give an idea for future reference. Quote, it's important to us that we tell the stories of those who place their lives in danger to help those in need. No matter how gritty and terrible these scenarios might be, it is still part of what makes them realistic. This feature also finds people utilizing different tools and equipment for specific jobs. And while I know it might not be as exciting for some to play dress up, it is still a way for us developers to offer players their own way of expression within our game. Giving the players the option to choose how the game looks in first person so that the stories and things that develop as they play our game become their stories too. Presentation, glasses. The department managed to experiment with a variety of accessories as well, as seen in a development update. We are trying to step away from choose a full outfit format since this can automatically block a lot of freedom regarding character customization. Quote, it's really exciting to work in this area, mainly because I can't wait to see people using a lot of the things we create in their videos or reviews. I'm always humbled to see things I've helped create in people's content. It is quite surreal. The tools we've been using for a lot of the creative work being done have been things like Autodesk, Maya, Blender, Adobe Substance Painter, and ZBrush. Presentation, masks. As an experienced member of the Special Weapons and Tactics team, your duty is to serve and protect the citizens of Los Suenos, placing yourself in extreme scenarios where mere seconds are deemed essential. With that in mind, showing imposing presence through strategies is not out of the question. Gather your friends and let your ideas flow, fresh additions to the Tactical Mask Collection. Quote, I've been a longtime collaborator with modding projects and groups, Red Hammer Studios and USP. It's always a pleasant experience to see how talented all these artists are. Those who don't know that I source and try a lot of the gear that we use as references, and I love going to different airsoft events here in the States like MSW, so there's also that. Shout out to TFM. Feel free to explore a seamless blend of designs as you mix and match across your gameplay. We look forward to showing our members the final versions of this system in the near future. So in short, we'll be getting more customization, which is great, but we already have tons and tons of mods that already give us all the customization that we want. But any content is welcome content. And I also know that there is a lot of people that don't like using mods. So this is really, really good stuff for them. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you did like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down, that's perfectly fine. Comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.